What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I've got another very important AMC update to bring all of you this afternoon. So what we're going to be covering in this update is a little bit of the Ortex data, the options chain, the max pain going into next week. And then we are going to be breaking down this really big catalyst that AMC has coming up this week. Now, if you have been watching any of my videos in the past and paid close attention, the Q2 earnings report that AMC released in 2021 was in my opinion, the most important important earnings report that we had really seen because of the fact that we really got a good look into where the company was moving into the future. Now, in my opinion, it's very possible that this next earnings report coming out could potentially top that Q2 earnings report of 2021, just because now we are going to start to see some results. We are going to see the popcorn business start to get rolled out, how they're going to basically plan to roll out more NFTs and anything else that Adam Aaron has up his sleeve. But there are a couple of really, really key points that I want you guys to understand from this video. And I want you guys to be on the lookout for different narratives that mainstream media is going to try and spread. And I'm going to dispel that in these videos. So make sure you guys hit that like button engage with this stream uh this, this video not this stream um subscribe if you want to see more videos like this but let's just get into the information right away so amc closed the day on friday at 17 dollars and 66 cents down about two cents 0.11 percent and the after hours fell another four cents down about 0.23 percent now i have this chart on the weekly chart there's a reason for this but we're going to come back to that a little bit later now when we come over to amc's or text data again we can't really trust these numbers fully right now just because if the utilization is at 100%, the cost to borrow should be much higher. And if the cost to borrow is this low, then utilization should be much lower. So it looks like one of these numbers is still wrong. But we still have the estimate at 20.35% estimated short interest, 104.24 million shares sold short. Now, that number did decrease because we did get this exchange reported short interest data down here, this 20.3% number. in Ortex on this settlement date of February 15th did end up overestimating... Uh, the short interest on the estimates that we were looking at on a day-to-day -day basis. This happens a lot. Sometimes they overestimate, sometimes they underestimate. This time, a little bit of an overestimation pulls the short interest down a little bit, but still very, very, very high. And again, the shares on loan right now still sitting at about 117 million, as we can see right here. So the shorts do have a decent amount of ammo that they could potentially try and use against us going into this next trading week. Now, when we come over to the max pain over here going into this next week, it's sitting at 17. But since it's an earnings week for AMC, we are going to see this number flicker around a lot because there are going to be institutions and day traders trying to buy puts, which could push up the max pain. But then there's going to be a lot of retail investors and potentially institutional investors as well, buying a lot of call options that could decrease the max pain. So we're going to see kind of um, a movement of this max pain throughout this week. But again, we've seen the market maker try to pin uh, the price of AMC at the max pain many, many, many times. But the one thing that they can never counteract is that massive imbalance of supply and demand, which we have seen many times in the past as well. Now, let's get into AMC's earnings report and the things that you guys need to understand. So make sure you guys are paying close attention to this part. I want everybody to understand this going into next week's trading week. And again, the earnings are going to be on March 1st and the call is going to be at 5 p.m. Eastern time. I will most likely be streaming that call. So when we come over here, we can see that AMC Entertainment Holdings previews fourth quarter 2021 preliminary results. A lot of people have seen this, but it's very important to go over some of these numbers again for what we're about to talk about. Specifically, these total revenue numbers right here. Total revenues for the three months ended December 31st, 2021 to be approximately 1.17 billion compared to 162 and a half million for the three months ended December 31st, 2020. That just means the fourth quarter. They're comparing uh, fourth quarter of 2020 in the fourth quarter of 20, uh, 2021, what they're projecting. And again, we are going to be ha uh, having most likely positive EBITDA earnings before interest taxes, depreciation and amortization, which is a very, very good thing to have. We haven't seen that in a long time as well since uh, the pandemic did happen. Now, let's get into some of these estimates and what has happened with AMC in the past and just show you guys how undervalued this company is right now, in my opinion, because again, value is an opinion. So when we come over to Market Beat right here and we're kind of taking a look at the previous earnings estimates, what I want to keep a look at over here is actual revenue numbers. So 
when we're taking a look over here, I'm going to leave out 2020 just because that was a weird, uh, weird year, just because we saw so many crazy things going on in the global economy. And we really just kind of want to take a look at how AMC was performing and what their revenue was like pre-pandemic. Now, here's what the mainstream media is going to do in some of the naysayers of AMC. This is the narrative that they're going to try to push down your throats and Here's why it's kind of nonsense. So when we come over here, we can see that in 2019 for Q3, they were generating about 1.32 billion. But remember, when we come back over here, the end of December of this year, or of 20, sorry, not this year, 2021, uh, the quarter that we're getting reported, 1.17 billion. So it is a little bit lower. So they were generating more revenue in 2019. And we can see right here, 1.51 billion in Q2. Now I want you to take a look at the share price that AMC was at in 2019. And here's the thing that mainstream media and a lot of these naysayers are going to point to. AMC has not been able to get back to essentially the pre-pandemic revenue numbers. In pre-pandemic, they were trading at that $9 to $10 range. But there's a very key important thing that people are missing here that I want you guys to understand and pay attention to in the earnings report. And we have to go back to 2016. Randomly in 2016, we start to see, going into 2017, we see this significant drop in AMC share price from about $32 a share all the way down to 12. Now, why might that be? Well, there's a very, very simple explanation for this. When we come over to this chart right here, this is tracking AMC's debt levels throughout the years. Now, the key thing right here that we have to think about is for the third and fourth quarter of 2016, we had about $1.93 billion worth of debt. But what happened going into 2017? They started increasing their debt. That makes it a lot riskier of a company to invest in, and then people start selling off. Now, this is the narrative that mainstream media is going to try and basically run with. They're not going to be able to get up to those revenue numbers pre-pandemic. In pre-pandemic, they were still trading at $11, so hence AMC would be overvalued. But the thing that they're missing here is that AMC is actively refinancing their debt and has a massive cash war chest right now that they can deploy any way that they see fit. Now, AMC has refinanced their debt. They are going to be getting a lower interest rate on this debt and pushing it out, but it's going to make it a lot easier for them to pay off this debt and honestly lower their debt levels. So instead of comparing AMC to those 2019 numbers when we were seeing essentially not a whole lot of cash on hand and a lot of debt, we should be comparing this now to 2016, where the debt level started to come up. And we honestly, right now, could use a lot of that cash on hand. One, for acquisitions, which we have been doing uh, in order to generate more revenue, uh, the popcorn business, the NFTs. But now we're in a very, very good spot. So you have to look at these earnings numbers a little bit differently now than you would in 2019. So that's kind of what I want everybody to kind of focus on here. These earnings could be really, really good. And I know a lot of people throughout this video are going to be saying it's not a fundamental play. It's not a fundamental play. It's not a fundamental play. I will always really disagree with that just because of the fact that the shorts are in this based on fundamentals. Now, again, we have talked about those technical shorts coming in, trying to push down the price of AMC in this kind of bearish environment in the overall market. But those shorts are really just going to be in here for the short term. I don't foresee those types of shorts trading on fundamentals staying in this this position for very long if we start to trend a little bit more to the upside. And those shorts, like we've said many times in the past, can easily cover their positions and switch to long because they aren't necessarily locked into their short position. If they made a bunch of money on the downside, who's to say that they're not going to come back in on the upside once we start to see that uptrend in AMC. So that is mainly going to wrap up this update on AMC. I hope all of these points made a lot of sense to you guys. If you enjoyed the information and analysis that I provided for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who want to learn. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. So I hope you guys are having a great evening and I'll see you guys in the next video.